I have two daughters, 10 and 11. They have been unschooled, can barely read, and I've heard slash read this can be okay, but it's gotten to be an issue lately because they don't really care to try to learn. I'm proactive and informed, so don't lecture me, please. I'm looking for girl-positive responses from women understanding the responsibility I have to our sacred feminine energy. Alphabet versus goddess know-how, a plus. What should I be doing now? You should be... Sending your kids to school so they can learn. <laughs> Hello, my hydrated children. This is me and my wife, Jessica. Oh, well, Jessica, where'd you go? Fuck. Okay. Uh, welcome to r slash insane people Facebook. Uh, let's look at some crazy people that say absolutely disturbing things. Come on. Why don't my mom's Xmas cookies ever taste like my mom's Xmas cookies when I make them? Mom, tell me your secrets. Hey, could you try and be a little more sensitive to the people who didn't even have mothers who baked them cookies? My mother, for instance, was an alcoholic and a drug addict and ruined most of my holidays growing up. It's very, very painful and frankly sometimes downright insulting to the kids and now adults who don't even have adequate parenting growing up. And I'm frankly sick of these gushy posts. To the person commenting below, I'm really sorry that you had to go through all of that, but you don't have to bring down everybody else that wants to talk about their mom every once in a while like I get that it's tough to go through that and it's tough to th see things that are in regards to moms but if this person makes too many gushy posts you should just unfollow them and you might be able to blacklist the word mom on Facebook so that you don't see posts that have the word mom in them because that's probably the solution for you you have to change to to make the world easier for you to get through the world just isn't going to change and stop talking about moms forever I'm 26 female and joined my new project in Chennai. I came across this absolutely handsome guy in Next ODC of ours. Fair, tall, well-built guy. I was so attracted to him and came to know that he does modeling as well in his free time. I'm an average-looking, medium-complexioned girl, but I've always been attracted to handsome guys only. I get proposals and all from average boys, but I never cared. Anyway, I gathered all my courage and approached him and told him in the lines of, You're handsome and I want to get to know you. Can we go to the cafeteria and what happened next just shattered my world. He simply said, no thank you, and looked uncomfortable and walked away. This mentally affected me a lot, and I cried for a week. How dare he reject me? We girls go through lots of struggles, unwanted attention from ugly boys, but when we approach the guy we like, we get rejected. I saw him in the cafeteria with another beautiful girl. This killed me internally. Why are guys so much into looks? I told this to one of my HR friends, and she said I can even lodge a complaint against him for mental harassment. I'm seriously considering this. If he is reading this confession, I hope he knows how much he damaged me. Now it's my turn to damage him. Never, ever mess with a girl. I don't know. I, I have a feeling that this has to be a troll. It's sort of poorly written, which almost makes me think that it's an actual real thing. But this just almost seems like way too much of a meme of what incels think every single girl is like. You know, they're an average person. They reject all the average boys that propose a relationship with them. And then they get pissed off when Chad won't come down to their level to be with them and complain about guys having too high of standards. But yeah, this is just way too much of a meme. I can't imagine somebody actually having these opinions. Well, actually, I can imagine somebody having these opinions, but to share them, even in the format of an anonymous confession, is just insane. What a horrible day. Someone very close to my heart tried committing suicide today. Condition unknown and in the hospital. I guess my love and support meant nothing to her. I'm done with selfish people. Done trying to find that special girl. I guess when an angel falls into your arms, you should hold on tight. Thank God and enjoy the time you have with her before she slips away. Even if you kiss her in the morning, there's no guarantee you will see her in the evening. Love the one you're with. Time enjoyed together in love is never a bad investment. Investment. I'm okay. I'm just hurt my support meant nothing. I was in love. I treated her like a queen and supported and understood her battles. I mean, we don't really have the entire context of this situation, but even with that, I can't imagine having my significant other attempt suicide and I'm like, I'm done with selfish people. I thought I had a special girl, but it turns out I just have a broken one that commits suicide even when I give her all the support and treat her like a queen. Like, this is such an insane mindset to have. Like, you can't even put yourself in the shoes of that other person and think, I wonder what they're going through right now. You're only consumed with what's going on with you and how this affects you and how it's damaged you and that she should know that that's so fucking sad i can't imagine living in this person's mind 
And the true magic and craziness about Insane People Facebook is these people not only have these awful thoughts, but they also decide that everybody needs to know that my girlfriend just attempted to commit suicide. Isn't she so selfish? Shouldn't she have been thinking of me? Is my support meaningless to her? Like, why would you fucking post this? Hi guys, I'm a committed flat earther, but I'm scared. Please help. I've got to fly to Australia next week, but I'm flying via the US West Coast on the way there, stopping off to see friends and on the way back I'm flying via Dubai. I feel like I'm the only one that knows the truth and so I can't speak to my family slash friends about this without being ridiculed. I'm so scared that I will at some point fall off the surface of the earth on the way there or way back because it is flat and I'm flying what would be all the way around the world on a traditional globe. Please help reassure me before my trip. Wow, I never actually thought of this in regards to flat earth people. It sounds like he's actually cracking the code here that the earth is round, but I don't know. Just be reassured that people fly across the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean all the time, and somehow, even though the earth truly is flat, it just works out for them. Is there a support group for cheaters? I've been cheating on my husband for over a year. My life is falling apart, my kids hate me, my parents have practically disowned me, but I can't stop. I love the feeling of destroying his family and my own. Chad was married to Stacy for 20 years with three kids, and he still chose to wreck his family for me. Do they give trophies for cheaters for being the biggest family wreckers? So far, two spouses and five children have fallen to our lust. It feels so good to destroy. Why? Why conform to societal standards? Marriage is a joke. I cheated on my first husband, cheated on my second, can't wait to cheat on my third. So yeah, I think a support group for cheaters would be a great idea for you because I feel like those are the only type of people that will ever support you in your life from now on. It seems like everybody in your life has completely abandoned you for amazing reasons because you actually enjoy destroying lives for your own strange sexual thrill. You're actually bragging about destroying two spouses and five children two spouses and five children have fallen to our lust like she is so getting off on this and it's all just to shit on society and the idea of marriage how fucking edgy are you how pathetic is this to actually destroy the lives of children like fuck adult people adult people yes they deserve to have their feelings protected yes they deserve to be treated with respect but to actually destroy the lives of five children that is intensely pathetic this woman should be put on an island somewhere just go away from actual society you're literally identifying yourself as a sociopath with this post i apologize for the lateness of today's video i've been putting in a lot of work on this video about the idea that it works the mlm might be a pyramid scheme so if you're in to the r slash anti mlm videos definitely look out for that in the future i'm super into this video that i've been making but it's going to be very long and uh yeah i'm just pumped about it wicked excited to be making it also enjoyed the fuck out of insane people facebook today i need to check out that subreddit more often everybody i'm going to be streaming on twitch again tonight it is the stream week and uh 8 p.m eastern standard time tonight is when i'm gonna get started i hope you'll all show up twitch.tv slash your cue it's in the description it's in the comments down below drink some more water skate on to the best of your abilities and i will see you very soon